I enjoy celebrating Thanksgiving. I love Turkey. I first got introduced to Turkey as a young adult when I moved, uh, came to America from Fiji. But I am here to talk about a part of the Turkey that I believe a lot of Americans aren't very familiar with, and that is the turkey tail. It is very cheap, but also very fatty, and when it's prepared, people who consume it describe it as being tasty, but we know it's very unhealthy because of the high fat cholesterol content. It's marketed as a turkey tail, but what it really is, is that gland-like part that attaches the tail to the bird, and the bird uses the oils from the gland to preen its feathers. Believe it or not, these turkey tails are marketed selectively to Pacific Islander communities across the United States and the Pacific Islands. Specifically, these are areas along the West Coast, uh, from Hawaii, California, Washington State, Utah, and I would like to include the US, uh, U.S. territory of American Samoa. The turkey tail is also readily available in some of the independent Pacific Island countries, such as Tonga. Turkey tails are a problem because obesity is a problem among Pacific Islanders. We recently completed a Pacific Islander health study and found that 80% of our adult sample were either overweight or obese. Banning turkey tails is not going to solve the problem because there are other products that are being marketed to the communities such as corned beef and mutton flaps, but it's a start. It's a start, but I'm on a mission to get rid of every turkey butt from our Pacific Islander communities on the continent, Hawaii, and in the Pacific.